To complete the piece, what we want to do is add an adjustment layer. I'm going to make this a solid color. And I already came up with a nice color scheme that I like. And the numbers are 116, 108, and 73. Good. Select OK. And from here, I'm going to select Soft Light. Or I can go to Hard Light. Or Overlay. Let's see. Um, I actually like Overlay a little bit better. And then we can maneuver with the opacity right about there. Great. And one last thing we want to add is I'm going to add a new layer. Bring it all the way to the top. Now I want to add a venetting effect all the way around this image. So I want to fill, the Im fill that layer with 50% gray and change it from normal to soft light. Notice there's no change at all. Now if I select a brush, paint in black, I'm going to burn in the edges. If I were to paint in white, I would highlight whatever I want. So consider, look at that as a burn or a dodge and burn tool. Let's select a different brush. Let's say, uh, you know what, yeah, that, that looks good. Let's increase the size. Good. And all I want to do is come around the edge and just start adding. And I'm, by the way, the, the opacity is at 50%. So I'm just going to add a couple little uh, spots all the way around. Now, if I'm wondering what it's actually doing, what I can do is just hide these layers here and just see what's happening. Good. Bring that back in. So before and after. And notice what it's doing. It's just drawing the eye more to the model herself. You know what? I actually like this area here to be a little bit darker. Because remember, your eyes are going to be drawn to the brightest part of the photograph. And in this case, we want the eye to be drawn right to the model herself. There we go. Good. And so that right there just gave us a little extra venetting around it. And then this adjustment layer here added a little more of the brown to the image itself. Now that completes our lesson. So just to recap, we started out with a model and the plane. From here, using On1 software earlier, I used the photo tools with On1 just to make the model look a little bit, uh, her skin to be a little bit softer, her eyes to pop, her lips just to come out and make it look more dramatic. Then again, using On1 software, uh, Mass Pro, we got rid of the background so we could see the airplane underneath. Then from the airplane layer, we used the pen tool to get rid of this little hanger in the background, converted everything into a smart object. Let me get back to here. And then we used uh, Nick, Nick Effects Silver Effects Pro, once we made a smart object, to create a smart filter, gave us our effect that we wanted, then from there created uh, the textures using the concept from Trey Radcliffe, and then we finished it off with just a few extra uh, adjustment layers with uh, the color fill, and then of course we added the venetting. So the whole process itself really took maybe five to six minutes to get this complete look, but obviously it took a lot longer to come up with the concept. So once you start creating concepts or ideas that you have, that's where presets come in. And once you start to create presets, whether it's on Nick software or on one software, those are going to be worth their weight in gold because the next time you want to create a similar piece, or in this case here, a complete series, all you need to do is go back into that plugin, select that preset, and you're like 90% of the way through your workflow.